video with respect to the date um, manipulation okay so for example we have uh, a few uh, you know few dates and and there are you know question uh, for that calculate the difference of date in days for example if we want to uh, we have two dates and we want to uh, you know have a difference between those two dates in avenue and what are how many number of days between those two dates okay so let's say 30 21st may or 23 31st may or 23 so if there are two dates then date 2 date 1 date difference days this is the function name actually date difference days so this is one part one question like and uh, for example let's say calculate the month start date and month end date for the given date so for example if this is the date we have given and uh, uh, the the ask is to get the starting date of that particular month okay and the end end of that particular month so how we can calculate is we need to know the month okay only the month also year because if there is a leap year right so and if it is just february and february month and leap year right so that that is uh, there are two things we should know to get the start date and end date right so we need to know the l month date month we can get there is a function called date month so that date month function will give me uh, the month part okay and date year will give me, me the year okay so uh, in this uh, respect a month start date is going to be string concatenate and uh, string concatenate uh, we can have uh, you know the l year so year part string l pad right and there will be a four places okay and then there will be a month which is a string l pad of two and then zero one we know that first starting month is going to be first uh, date of the month right so that is fixed but these month and the year is going to be you know depending upon the month and year okay all right so and depending upon the you know leap year and uh, non leap year it will vary okay now how to define the leap year if l year percentage uh, uh, divided by 4 if it is comes as zero then it is in leap year otherwise not okay so that also we can check and i have defined leap year vac or year vac so the days you know there will be a difference in uh, february day right for leap year so let's create two vectors constant vectors uh, you know comma delimited values right so l leap year vac or year vac so this is same normal year and leap year so this is starting from january february 29 right then this one all other will remain as it is only the february month will change so these 12 uh, element vector i have created okay and then uh, so depending upon the month end date and month uh, start date right so there are month and else so if month end date will uh, be different in case of uh, um, you know leap year if it is leap year then month and date is going to be created using this one using the this uh, this function and if it is not a leap year then the month and date is going to be you know taken from the year back leap year back right so this is simple basically you need to create some different variable and then you can manipulate it so similarly if we have another question like calculate the quarter start date and quarter end date so this kind of questions we have already done like uh, we have in that question we uh, solved like um, you know what could be the there are two dates and the uh, you know starting of the quarter and the end, end of the quarter right so there also we have manipulated the values and then we came up with the solution right so quarter started uh, date and quarter end date right 
so there also we did not take care of the leap year right so if there is a leap year we need to take care uh, because it's in february month so that question is not required to leap year consideration but month start and month end date if you want to calculate then leap year consideration is required okay but quarter start date and quarter end date for that because it's in february month leap year uh, impact the february month only so there is no problem okay so um i have created the constant vectors right starting uh, quarter start date back quarter end date back like quarter start date back year part okay start date uh, 1st of january 20 no, that year and 1st of april 1st of july and 1st of october similarly the end end of the quarter is 31st march 30th june 30th september and 31st december so if uh, if uh, l month is less than or equal to 4 we will calculate the month part if that is less than 4 then you know it will be having the first of january until 31st of march right zeroth element of both these vector will come into picture and if it is a, uh, less than 7 if this if it doesn't satisfy then it obviously it will go into this if condition and we will have you know first of april 2020 uh, first of april the year part and then then you know second element of the vector of both of these vector respectively and similarly you know for the october quarter and the for uh, yeah, you know july quarter and the october quarter this one so uh, similarly we can uh, get this one okay now let's say one more question how to get the difference between two times in minutes so if there is an uh, if, if you need to know the difference between two dates but in minutes so there are two dates okay and there is a function called date time uh, difference minutes so you will have you know two date eight zero you know 21st may and 25th uh, 29th may or 21st may right if there is a you need to calculate okay and uh, one more questions let's say How to convert a string like this one, 22nd May 2015, having AM PM to date time data type? You know, so for example, if we have any kind of date, right? So this kind of date we have, let's say, and we want to convert, uh, you know, convert into like uh, 03, 05, 2023. 20, so what we have supplied is like we don't have any padding and all okay simply we have been given this this uh, string and we have been asked that we need to know the this kind of you know result so dead time we need to create so what we can do is like we have uh, uh, you know and uh, type cast into the string and then we have a date time vmm ddyy hmi am if we do that century is equal to 2000 then it will convert into this kind of format, right? And then we can reconvert into the this format, MMDD, YYYY. Yeah. Uh, 24 um, hours, minutes, and seconds. 24 hours, right? 15, 15 is 3 o'clock, basically, PM. So for PM, and, uh, we, the, the numbering of the hours will go from the first to 23rd, right? 12 to 23rd. So, these are the different, you know, uh, uh, the thing functions we can uh, need to manipulate while creating the parameters. Basically, if we need to know, you know, we need to calculate the different, different date related parameters. So these kind of manipulation we can do. So uh, with that, uh, thank you so much. Uh, please subscribe my channel and we are going to see uh, other scenario based questions and all other concepts of Avenue Thank you. Cheers.